Howdy, my name is uh, Sharon McBall, class of 12. I graduated with a degree in uh, electrical engineering. Today I'm the vice president for our control valves and automation, as well as the sugar, pulp and paper, and geothermal markets for Bray International. So I kind of grew up all over the world. My dad was in the military, so we moved uh, in different areas of the world. So one day my mother just kind of woke me up and said, you're choosing a university today. And I just happened to choose Texas A&M. So I came to campus around July, and I remember I was walking uh, near the Memorial Student Center, um, and I saw these cadets. And I was like, man, that looks pretty cool, you know? I wanna look like this, you know, nice shiny boots, dressed good, you know, all looking, you know, very sharp. So I approached the cadets and I asked them, like, how do I get to be one of you? So they, they took me over to Colonel Stebbins and said, hey, we found a new recruit. Well, Colonel Stebbins said, well, Sharum, are you interested? And I said, yes, sir, I'm interested to join the Corps. And he goes, do you know anything about the Corps? I'm like, sir, if I look like any these cadets, this is what I want to do, you know. You take a person who comes from a completely different culture, totally different language, physically is in the worst shape, that has never been marched in his life, to the point where I ended up, through the support of my fellow peers, being the Deputy Corps Commander graduating in electrical engineering, I have to say the Corps made that possible. So my, my senior year, I was awarded the Craig Brown Outstanding Senior Engineer Award in my class and I met Craig at a banquet. So the first question Craig asked me is, Shuram, do you have a job? I'm like, no, Craig, I'm applying. You know, it, it wasn't my plan to you know, join the civilian world, but now it is. So Craig asked me, would you like to come work for me? I look at Craig and I said, Craig, what is a valve? And Craig said, well, Shuram, you know, you should, uh, this, is, this is the company, you should look into it. I like the fact that Craig was a fellow cadet. He was extremely successful. He was very involved in A&M. So I, had, I held him in high admiration and respect. I started off as um, operational engineer for Bray in, in 2013. And then Craig gave me that opportunity to aggressively grow and become uh, the role I am in today. And in a space of 10 years, he's let me run from an engineer to the vice president of our control valves and automation, as well as leading industries the sugar industry, the pulp and paper industry, and the geothermal industry for us globally, and implementing his vision across our offices in 100 plus countries. The favorite part of the job is to come into work every day, uh, face a challenge, consult with the different individuals at work, work with the R&D team, work with the product managers, work with the marketing team, collect all that information, put it in a package, and present it to a customer which provides him a solution which is the best for him. And, and that's what is the best, is just sitting across the customer, seeing him smile and him just saying thank you. I think my most important message to the cadets is what you put in is what you get out. The more work, the more passion, the more commitment I put in to my fellow cadets, with my upperclassmen, with my fellow peers at AM, is what is what I'm gonna get back. If you put your mind to some certain things, if you put your mind to a task, either go all in or don't do it at all. You have to have that passion. If you wake up every day with the intent that I'm gonna put in the best effort today, educationally, physically, spiritually, for my fellow cadets, for everyone who I touch today, that's all what matters. I will forever be in debt to AM um, and spe spe especially the Corps of Cadets. I I'm not sure if I will ever be able to give back to AM and the Corps of Cadets what they have done for me, but every day I'm going to try to give back.